So yesterday's video guys, we did review the brand new futuristic 2025 Nissan GTR right over here guys. And today we're going to be doing a pretty good comparison because we are bringing out the normal GTR and also the GTR GT3 model guys. And today we're going to be comparing all of these and see which one is the best one. But before we get started, be sure to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe for more guys. And don't forget to click that post notification bell. I'm going to be going over the difference between all these three cars guys and also we're gonna race all of them to see which one is better now the new futuristic gtr guys is absolutely beautiful but everybody's not liking it because it's not the og guys you guys can see the original gtr's like does not look anywhere like the newest one it does look a little bit similar but it looks a little bit slimmer it looks a little bit less meaner than the current ones this is the gt3 model right here guys you can see that there is a uh you know custom hood on this and this is the regular one with a custom wide body kit on it guys but you can see the difference between the gt3 and the regular nissan guys is absolutely insane and the coolest part about this new futuristic gtr guys is it has this retractable wing that we have never seen before in a gtr check it out guys when i bring up the wing you can see that it looks like there's nothing there but as soon as we put it up you can see it just goes up like a mclaren p1 like it's just hidden right there and it does go forward when you are braking guys so that is probably one of my, mo my most favorite part about the brand new gtr guys and it's absolutely free all you have to do is complete the star challenges get 2000 stars and you guys will get this and the others right over here guys are kind of similar looking and it doesn't look anywhere as mean as this i do like the brand new led lights on the brand new gtr guys you can see it's a lot different than the current one right over here a lot of people are upset that they didn't bring bring it back but you guys do know that they change led lights with almost every car manufacturers out there you guys can see we got these futuristic rims right here that i'm guessing helps cooling of the brakes right over here guys and it has carbon fiber on it which is insane and also speaking of carbon fiber there is a lot of carbon fiber on the new gtr guys you can see even in the interior it is nothing but carbon fiber even the side skirts carbon fiber and the rear diffuser is carbon fiber now the rear lights guys i do like the old one but the new ones they kind of grow on me it does look like a nissan logo which is really crazy for some reason and you guys can see the old ones they're really really nice but the new ones they just look absolutely futuristic now the rear diffuser is a lot more um you know aggressive than the old one but i don't know about the exhaust man i don't know about this flush exhaust look over here it kind of reminds me of like audi or amg vibes right here guys which you know should stay on the audi and amg vibes but on the gtr i kind of like this you know double shotgun exhaust on each side right here guys which makes it look a lot more like the japanese car itself all right enough talking let's go ahead and get in the car and we're gonna race all of these in the track right now now these are all fully upgraded and you guys can see the brand new 2005 gtr can go up to 235 miles an hour fully upgraded and it has a handling of 8.1 versus the gt3 model guys that has a top speed of 240 and it has a handling of 8.7 now this one is going to be a very scary competitive because it is the gt3 model it's a so it's a circuit track killer for sure and then last but not least guys we got the regular gt3 uh rtr right over here guys or the nissan gtr that goes up to 234 miles an hour with a handling of 8.1 now this one is kind of similar to these stats right over here the only difference is we're going about a mile faster so this one is going to be a very close competition all right first race guys we're gonna do the drag race and we're gonna start at the 1 8th and then we're gonna go on the quarter mile and then the half mile guys all right here we go the first race is the 1 8th mile let's see guys we got the gt3 model and the regular gtr model right here and here we go we got the 2025 one oh dude we are not all oh, we get it we got second place what that's actually pretty surprising but who got first place man that's actually 
really, really crazy who got first place. I need to see the time right now. Oh my gosh, the regular GTR is faster than the futuristic one? Like literally by 0.2 miles. That's insane. Okay, next race. All right, we got two regular GTRs and a GT3. Now, the reason why we're not using the police one, guys, is because it's just slightly faster than the GTR. And that's actually a little bit not fair because it's a slightly modified vehicle. But here we go. Look at that. 7.4 miles or seconds at 167 miles an hour we came in second place again dude who's coming in first no way the regular gtr is literally coming in first place guys okay i gotta make sure i am like fully upgraded because i am losing this i should not be losing this okay here we go now this is the full half mile guys and you can see my boy is rocking the brand new og camo with that here we go we are off we got the GT3 right here. The GT3 has not been able to win this race. But it looks like, oh my gosh, look at that second place again. Dude. All right, guys, it's it's starting to prove that the regular GTR is more worth it than the uh, new one, guys. And it has a body kit, which I don't get. This has a full speed of 234, and I have a full a top speed of 235. How is he going faster than me? All right, I got to run that again. Let's run that again, guys. <laughs> Ain't no way. He is just beating me like that. All right, here we go. Let's see here. Let's see if we can finish this. First place, baby. Here we go. Boom. Second place again. No way. Okay. The GTR proves it, guys. That the newest one is not the fastest in the drag race, which is insane. You would think this would be the fastest, guys, but it's actually not. It's actually the very first GTR right over here. Now, the GTR Pro or the GTR GT3 edition is nowhere to be seen. This one has always came in last every single race, and we don't know why. And I think that's because it's meant for the circuit race and not the drag. So that's where we're going next, guys, is the circuit race. All right, here we go. We are off with this race. I'm wondering why I'm in first place right now. This should not... Okay, there we go. There's the GT3 right there. That is the king of the track right here guys but we got this retractable wing that actually helps us with this a lot but i don't know that has like an almost nine handling and look how like smoothly he can move around the track versus me oh my god this is not fair at all dude <laughs> this is not fair now i'm gonna guess that this has a faster acceleration than the older gtr but the older gtr just has a you know faster speed when it gets up there guys so i'm guessing that's why he's currently not in second place he's right behind me actually and this one's just slightly better in the circuit track guys because we actually have this retractable wing that helps us, you know, with the corners versus the normal GTR that doesn't have a wing at all. <laughs> and that GT3 model, guys, is literally like weight saving to the point that it is meant for this track. And you can see that we are just like taking off right now. We're still in P2. And you can see the other GT3 is like just behind me. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at that, 32, 36.2. This is like the best comparison ever, bro. This is amazing. Big shout out to everybody that's in the server right now. Like, this is the most fair race we can ever get to. Look at that, guys. Look at the lap comparison. We got the GT3 on top at 34.7. And then the new futuristic 2025 GT3 or GTR at 36.2. And then you guys can see the normal GTR at 36.2. And he literally finished slightly slower than I did because he probably slipped on something, guys. That just proves it to you that the new GTR is not any better than the old GTR, guys. I think it's just for looks. It does slightly help a little bit in the circuit track, guys, because it is, uh, you know, it does have this, you know, retractable wing. But when it comes to, you know, the drag race, guys, uh, the new, the old GTR literally takes it. Honestly, guys, out of the all three, which one would you pick? Comment down below right now, guys. In my opinion, I'm going to pick the newest GTR because it does look pretty cool. You know, I take that back. I take that back. I'm going to take the GT3 because it's the coolest looking one out of all of them. And it is a circus track monster. But if you guys are a speed, you know, if you guys are looking for speed, I'm going to say that the oldest GTR or the regular GTR is the fastest out of all of them. Honestly, this race right here will literally tell you which one is the fastest out of all of them. I don't know why the other GTR is like falling back so far. 
and I'm in second place. I guess that just proves it that the GTR GT3 model, guys, is the best one out of all of them. <laughs> so, which one is your pick? Do you want the cool one? Do you want the fastest circuit track? Or do you guys want the fastest drag car? Leave it in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And peace out.